Today you're going to learn how to make these epic anamorphic flares. I'm also going to show you the tools on how to customize these flares to make your video stand out. Anamorphic flares are super popular in sci-fi movies like Star Trek and horror films like Super 8. Now there's only three ways to really get this flare in your videos. First is by using an anamorphic lens. Second is using overlays, which I personally think look like shit because the overlays are kind of just doing their own thing and doesn't really correlate with the lighting sources in the footage. Third way is what you're gonna learn today. And that's by using a DaVinci Resolve plugin, which actually dynamically interacts with the lighting sources in the video. And one quick tip before we get started, it's really important to have lighting sources pointed directly at the camera lens as this will help the effects stand out on your video. All right, here I have a clip and this is an astronaut with her light getting turned on. This is perfect for this type of an effect. So what you'll wanna do is create a new node and come up here to the right hand side where it says effects, select effects and type in lens and then come down to where it says lens reflections. Go ahead and drag that on that new node. Then what you wanna do is come down to where it says preset and select streaks. And as you can see, it creates some cool streaks, but it's really basic and nothing too fancy. So what I like to do is come down here to the anamorphism and turn this up all the way. Then what you can do is come down here to the reflecting element number one, and I'm going to select something that is a little bit more on the teal side. Now this is personal taste. You can pick whatever color you want this first flare to be, but I'm going to go ahead and select something right about there. Then I'll select OK. Then this is where it gets really fun, where it says position in optical path. You can turn this up and kind of change how the flare is affecting the footage. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn this. So I'm going to turn this up to about negative 0.229. Also, what I want to do right now is just turn the brightness up all the way so I can see it really well. And if I need to, I can turn up the global brightness just to really... Then what I'll do is I'll play the clip back and see where it is. Okay, cool, cool. So the next thing I like to do is come down here to the reflecting element number two and turn up the brightness. As soon as you turn up the brightness, it will start to show you new settings for this new element. Then what I like to do is select the color come down here and either pick something a little bit more tealy than the original color, or even maybe go a little bit on the magenta side. So I'm going to pick something like that, then select OK. Then what I'm going to do is come down here to the stretch, and I'm going to turn this down. And I kind of want to just customize this to be a little bit smaller. So it looks like it's kind of reflecting the smaller light sources somewhere else in the element of the lens. Then I'm going to select the position and optical path and kind of move that closer to the original flare that we created first. Now it is a little bright, so I'm going to turn it down and play the footage back and kind of just see what I think looks good. All right, that's pretty sweet. All right. If you don't want those secondary flares to stand out so much, you can also turn down the brightness. Now we get a look that looks like this. It looks really cool, it's starting to look really organic. Then if you want, you can come down here to the reflecting element number three and turn this up. And as you can see, by default, it's orange, but I'm going to select the color and I'm going to make this one a little bit more on the teal side, but not too much more than the original. Then I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to actually turn up the optical path and kind of maybe just put it somewhere. I'm just gonna put it right about there. Then I'm also going to turn up the stretch so it goes all the way across the screen. And what's really important is you can play with the optical path and kind of adjust this to kind of get your flavor of whatever you kind of want. Now what's really important is you can play with the optical path of each one of these flares that you create. What I like to do is turn the brightness up all the way and then pull back on it. And then that way it kind of gives it a more subtle look and you can really fine tune the adjustments of each flare. Now this is just an example, but if you guys really wanted to go crazy with it, you guys could turn on another reflection for brightness and really just kind of go crazy with the colors and kind of just play around with the stretch and really, really create some unique looking effects. But I definitely recommend watching a movie that has these flares and then maybe finding a screen grab of it and trying to recreate it. There's so many tools, so much flexibility. I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.